everyone. It's Miss April from the Schenectady County Public Library. Welcome to STEAM Mondays. So if you don't know what STEAM stands for, it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. Pretty cool. So today on STEAM Mondays, we are going to make some binary beaded hearts. So we are going to learn a little bit about coding and we are going to use our coding skills to make this really cool craft. So what is coding? I bet a lot of you out there actually know what coding is and have maybe done some coding, but if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, coding is a skill that takes information and translates it into a language that computers can understand because computers do not communicate like humans. So what is the name of the language that computers can understand? I bet a lot of you out there already know or have heard this before, but I'm gonna tell you, it's called binary code. So binary code is how computers communicate with each other and represent information. So binary code is a code that uses only two numbers. Do any of you know what those two numbers are? Well, I'm going to tell you if you said zero and one, you would be correct. Binary code is a code that is a series of zeros and ones. So why can a computer only understand zeros and ones? I'm going to tell you. That is because a computer has two electrical states, off and on. So in binary code, a zero can represent off and a one can represent on. That is why a computer can only understand those two numbers. Now we know that we can communicate with computers using binary code. But how do we communicate with each other? Do humans understand binary code? No, we communicate using language, so our ABCs. But do computers understand ABCs? No, so we have to translate our alphabet into binary code if we wanna program a computer. And that is what we are going to do today. We are gonna translate our alphabet into binary code. So to make our binary beaded hearts, the first thing we're going to need is this binary alphabet chart, which um, translates the code for each letter of the alphabet. And if you click on the link in the description of this video, you can download this sheet. In addition to that, you'll need some pipe cleaners and some beads. You can use whatever beads you have, but you gotta make sure you have beads that are in two different colors. It might also be helpful to have a pair of scissors handy and some scrap paper and something to write with. So now we're gonna make our binary beaded hearts. So I have my binary alphabet chart here and I also have a separate sheet of paper that I'm going to work with. So our hearts are going to contain a message that we want to send to someone special when we give them our heart. So my heart is going to say the word love in binary code. So the first thing you want to do once you decide what you want your heart to say is to choose two colors. One color is going to represent a zero and one color is going to represent a one in your code. So I chose a red bead for zero and a pink bead for one. And as you can see, I also wrote out the code for each letter nice and big on my paper because I'm going to use that to lay out my beads before I string them onto my pipe cleaner. Now remember, one pipe cleaner will fit about 40 beads, which is about five letters. 
So if you have more letters than five, you're going to have to string together two pipe cleaners. So you can just join them together like that, just twist them together. So I made this heart that says, be mine. So this is be mine in binary code. And I had to string together two pipe cleaners because I had more than five letters. So now I'm going to get started laying out my beads in the right order before I string them onto my heart. So now that I've laid all of my beads out here on my paper, I'm going to start stringing them on to my pipe cleaner. So I finished stringing my beads on my pipe cleaner. And if you notice, I started from the end and worked backwards. So my beads would be in order when they were done. So now the last step is just to make this into a heart shape. So you wanna take the two ends and just twist them together so your beads don't fall off. And then you kinda make it into a heart shape as best you can. So, and there you go. There's my binary beaded heart. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone, for Steam Mondays. I had so much fun making that project with you. And make sure you tune in next week because Miss Julie will be making balloon cars. So that should be pretty fun. And as always, if you have not done so already, please join our SCPL Youth and Families group on Facebook. And please post pictures or videos of what you made because we would love to see them. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you soon.